Whirlpool Corporation is the largest appliance manufacturer in the world. We're not only a manufacturer, but we also service about 15,000 different retailers. We then have six or 7,000 suppliers across the world. We have over 40 manufacturing facilities across the world. Um, each one of those then not only imports but exports products. We have about 17 factory distribution centers, about 15 regional distribution centers, and then 87 local distribution centers. And all of that is spread across the United States with multiple transportation links that go between those. In a lot of cases, we are delivering directly to their stores. So our supply chain has to be flexible enough and agile enough to deal with all of those different requirements. In today's environment, most of the retailers don't want to carry a lot of inventory. 20 years ago, we were probably 70% straight out of our factories. We're now probably 20 to 25% out of our factories. And everything else is a mixed load going into some type of regional distribution center. We have, at any given time, somewhere in the range of 2.2 to 2.5 million units in inventory. The relationship between the supply chain organization and the IT organization is essential. I would also throw the financial area in there as well. I look forward to the day when just-in-time supply, just-in-time inventory meets just-in-time cash flow. That requires perfect information. How do I make sure that we have visibility all the way from the supplier to the retailer and that we can use that information versus using our capital to have to buy extra goods or hold extra work and process inventory. When we acquired Maytag, it was a great thing for Whirlpool. We took two very large, very complex, in some cases competing supply chains, and we brought them together in a way that did not disturb our customers and our trade partners. It's not just about getting the software and, and implementing next week. It's around having the right team in place, the change management, the processes, the systems. We chose Manhattan because they know the product and they've had the experiences. What we're trying to do is give a picture of what happens every day in a supply chain. That goes all the way from a customer purchases something, going back to a supplier that's in China. And you can see all of these things happening behind the scenes that allow that product to be developed. There's another stream that allows that customer to say, I want that refrigerator. Boy, I would really like to have that tomorrow. So what are the mechanisms you have to put in place that allow that product to be available to them tomorrow? Then it gets into that final delivery space of making sure product's in the right spot at the right time, that you have perfect information, that you have the right types of trucks, you have the right types of delivery mechanisms to get it out into a distribution center close to the customer, and then a guy shows up at the door. All of those pieces happen as Mrs. Jones says, yeah, I'd like to buy that refrigerator. And so when you think about 24 hours, it's all of those elements are happening each day, 100,000 times a day.